Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging. Let's see who this is from. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera there. Alright. Oh, I know who this is from. Right off the bat. Alright. This is from the WISKF store. And we just have a couple of things here to go through. So let's see what we have. Okay, we'll start with the little one first. We have three different bags. I just love this store and I love how inexpensive things are and you can get a million of them if you need them I can buy these for these are probably this one is $4.99 so you can get one for each one of your projects to put your your thread and your scissors and your thimbles and everything that you need in there they're so pretty and they come in all different Kinds, types, animals, floral, as you can see, solid colors, or ones with an initial on them. Very nice. And they're very well made. They're padded on the inside. I'd say it was a good eighth of an inch thick. They have nice zippers. It even has a little loop here, so you could put a keychain, or I don't have one right handy, on it. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. So this one I got is floral. And I use them. I put them in with my uh, counted ones, actually. Because most of my other thread are, you know, they're already on the thread cards and that kind of thing. But I like it. And I haven't gone on a trip, so. But you could use it for it. They call them cosmetic bags. Now, I don't know if these are washable. Like, if you could hand wash them. It might say in the instruction, you know, not instructions, but the description box. But this is just kind of a nylon material, so I know it's not waterproof. But you could put your makeup in there and put it, you know, in your suitcase or in your travel, you know, the one you carry on and all that. Or one you have in the car that just grab and go, you know. I do that. I have the stuff in a suitcase when my daughter and I went to Cheyenne. But I had my backpack with the immediate stuff, you know, like my phone and my billfold and credit cards and stuff like that. So, yeah, awesome. So now I have a different kind of a bag. And this one, I believe, is a project bag. So, and it comes in a nice plastic bag. And there are holes in it. And that's so that... You know, everything can breathe and it doesn't get molded. So, do not use in cribs. This is not a toy. We know all that, right? So, this one isn't very big. It just has, like, a little handle here. Just on one side. Nice zipper with a nice zipper pull. And you can zip it down. If I could just get it there. And you open it up. And you could put your scissors in here or a pin if you wanted and then maybe some tape or something down in here but it holds a lot and it has like a little window to the inside so if you were say an artist you could put your brushes in there and then or you were going to use crayons or whatever or your pencils I don't have any I'll just use this pin but that way you can just pull it out of here without opening this part. I'm just going to take the scissors out because they're kind of pokey. You know, just lay it down kind of like a little desk so you'd have room to work. And then it has the main one. And it opens up and it has a side pocket here, side pocket here. And this goes into here like so. That's where that window was. But it does sit, whoops, trying to get it to sit down. It has a squared off bottom, so it'll sit up. 
and hold out your stuff. And it holds a lot. It's pretty deep. I mean, let me just measure from the edge. It's like four and a half inches deep. You could get 500 pencils in there if you wanted to. And the bottom is two and three quarters inches wide. So, and the whole thing is, oh, approximately, we're going to say nine and a half inches across because it folds out here. So you could just get it all flat. And then when you're done, you know, you just zip everything up and you just carry it like so. So yeah, I like this size. I really do. And it'll come in handy when I go out in the with the woods and stuff. I can put all my, my uh, tools and stuff in here that I need. And my scissors. You know, crap that I forget to bring. You know, like scissors. And I have nothing to cut my thread. Yeah, that's happened. But at least, you know, you could have room to put all your stuff in. I don't know if you could get a thread card. If you were doing a 14 count, maybe. Maybe you could get... I could probably get Peter Rabbit in there. You know, because it's not a very big canvas. So if you had a small canvas you were working on, you could just take it with you. You'd have a place to put your scissors and your thimble and all that. So those are going to come in handy. And let me see. This one was $8.99. And this, this is a new product. They haven't had these. They had these and they had the tote bags, you know, with just the handles and everything. When I first started, then they added aprons. I think there's two different sizes of aprons. And then they added these little project bags. And I wanted to be sure I got one because I really like them. I think they come in a couple different colors. So, very nice. Okay, let me get this out of this bag here. If I can figure out quite how. Come on. Maybe. Oh, we're trying too hard. It's down here. Sorry. We'll get it out. Now, I saw this on somebody else's um, channel, and I thought this was a good idea. So, if you're going somewhere, and it's kind of a, sorry, silky type material. I wouldn't say it was linen. And this one was $8.99. It does have a squared off bottom as well. Has two very nice long handles. And they're the same size, I believe. Maybe a little bit smaller. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's see. It is 14 inches that way. The bag itself. And 14 inches that way. So it's 14 inches square. But this has a zipper. Isn't that cool? So if you want to pack up your stuff for the beach or whatever, that would work. Now inside it has another zip. There we go. Another a zip pocket. It's a small zip pocket. There's no other pockets, I don't think. And it's kind of a... This you could just wipe off. You know, I, I don't know about washing the whole thing. I'd be kind of scared. This is more of a... I don't know what the word is. Kind of like raincoat material. I, I don't know how to else to explain it. It's woven, but it's kind of nylon-y. So, you know, what I would do if I were going to wash it, I would wash it by hand and let hang it up and dry because when we go to the hot springs you know i put our towels in there and you know we go to the hot springs you get the towel all wet and i put it all back in there and then when i come home i just hang i have another one that's like the linen kind and i just hang it on a doorknob and it just air dries so i haven't yet to wash any of these but i wouldn't throw it in the washing machine i would you know, wash it with woolite or whatever, you know, something for delicates. Because I wouldn't, I don't know, I just wouldn't trust it. It does kind of have a lightly padded bottom. But there is a lot of room in there to put several projects or several things. You know, if you're just going on a day trip, you could pack lunch in there, you know, plus a whole lot more. So, very nice, very nice. I wanted to try these out. So these are new too. They come in all different 
Now these have more options than say these that I know as of the last time that I was at that website. So yeah, so check it out. And this is that famous picture that everybody's either had in a diamond painting or a cross stitch. It's just kind of a light rendition of it, you know, with the street lights and all the colorful things. Yeah, very nice. And it feels, it looks hand painted, but it's not, it's not textured or anything like that. Just a print, but very nice, very nicely done whisk. I don't know how to say the name. Isn't that terrible? I've done probably three, possibly four reviews for this company. I still don't know how to say it. So I call it W-I-S-K-F. But uh, they do have, like I said, lots of choices. They have aprons, cosmetic bags, linen bags. They even have canvas bags. They have the bags that I showed you. So go check them out. Uh, and their prices are always really good. Now the canvas bag, I think, that I got the last time. The real heavy duty canvas. I think they called it a shopping bag. It was like $25. But it was nice. It was big. It was heavy duty. You know. So it's not going to fall apart at any time. And they're very all very well made. Sorry. Needed a drink. What can I say? We're just drinking water today. In my Coke bottle. Because it was handy. But uh, thank you for watching today. Thank you, WISKF, for sending me these beautiful products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.